Russia finally introduced its first humanoid robot, hoping to make a grand entrance into the global robotics race. But before it could even prove itself, the historic debut instantly collapsed into Russia's biggest robotics fail of the year, Adel, a robot with a human-like face unveiled by a Moscow-based startup, stepped onto the stage with confidence. But the moment it tried to walk, it stumbled like it hadn't slept all night. Knees shaking, balance gone, and within seconds, it went straight down, turning the entire reveal into an accidental comedy show. Welcome to Next Gen AI. Russia wanted a historic moment, a bold entrance into the global humanoid race. But what they got instead was a worldwide meme factory. While America pushes out humanoids that move with military precision, and China keeps dropping robots that glide over rocky hills like they're floating, Russia stepped onto the stage with a robot that looked almost too human and then immediately face-planted in front of everyone. This is the story of Adol, a humanoid designed to make Russia a serious player in robotics, a robot with a rare human-like face and a surprisingly realistic body, yet one that couldn't walk 10 steps without looking like it had just stumbled out of a nightclub. The big reveal happened in Moscow on November 10, 2025. At first glance, people were quietly impressed. Unlike Tesla's blank-faced Optimus, Adol actually looked human. It had a fully sculpted face with skin-like features capable of emotional shades, subtle smiles, soft micro-expressions that made you pause and think, wait, is that a real person under there? Even the body proportions were surprisingly natural, and this is extremely rare. Most companies don't try to combine a realistic face with a functional full-body system. It's too hard, too uncanny, too easy to creep people out. But Idle Robotics went all in, hoping to create a robot that could eventually interact with people the way a human would. Then AIDL took its first steps, and everything unraveled instantly. At first it looked normal, if a little stiff. But within two seconds you could see something was off. The knees trembled. The torso leaned forward unnaturally. The gait became uneven, almost like its internal balancing system was arguing with itself. And then, to the horror and amusement of everyone watching, Idol tipped forward in slow motion, lost all balance, and slammed face first into the stage. The audience froze, and some, well, they couldn't hold the laugh in. Russia had tried to show the world its big robotics moment, but instead delivered one of the funniest tech fails of the year. Before we go further, make sure to subscribe to NextGen AI, your one-stop place for daily humanoid breakthroughs. Here's the irony. Adol is actually a serious piece of engineering. Built by Idol Robotics, a Moscow startup focused on reducing dependency on foreign components, it's made of 77% domestically sourced parts, an impressive number considering sanctions have cut access to advanced chips and sensors. The robot stands about 5 feet 4, packs over 40 degrees of freedom, and runs onboard neural networks that merge camera vision, audio, and touch feedback into something the engineers proudly call harmonic reasoning. In simple terms, the robot is designed to adapt in real time, to adjust its movements with each step like a foundation model adjusting to new data. The face isn't just decoration either. It can produce 12 core expressions, from joy to frustration to calm neutrality, plus hundreds of tiny micro-reactions. On paper, AI doll should have walked out like a futuristic actor and won applause. But robotics is not kind to confidence. Do you think Russia can fix this robot, or is it already too late? Let us know in the comments. I always check what you guys say. The biggest issue was the walking. Humanoid locomotion is notoriously brutal. Tesla spent years getting Optimus to stop wobbling. Even Boston Dynamics took decades to achieve the smooth motion we see today. Adol simply wasn't ready. CEO Vitukin later explained that the bright stage lights interfered with the depth sensors, throwing off the calibration and confusing the robot's perception of the floor. One wrong reading in a bipedal system is enough to trigger a collapse. Humans fall all the time. Robots fall harder. And unfortunately for Russia, they fell during the one moment they needed everything to go perfectly. Of course, the internet didn't care about engineering explanations. The failure spread instantly. People joked that the robot walked like a classic drunk Russian, which, yes, is a stereotype. But the wobbling was so exaggerated that it practically invited commentary. 
The knees buckled like someone balancing after six vodka shots. The sideways lean looked like it was searching for a wall. And once the face hit the ground, the comparison became unavoidable. But behind the jokes, there's a real point worth acknowledging. That shaky, unbalanced walk shows exactly how early this robot is. The leg control algorithms need major refinement. The balancing model needs more data. The real-world calibration is nowhere near stable enough. The robot wasn't drunk. The software was. When you put Adol next to what America is building, the differences become clear fast. Tesla Optimus Gen 3 moves with industrial precision. Figure 03 has one of the most natural gates in the world. Its posture and motion look eerily fluid. Russia flipped that philosophy entirely. Adol prioritizes human likeness over mechanical perfection. In a way, it feels like a character from a sci-fi film that escaped before the animation was finished. It's bold, it's weird, and it's definitely risky. Because people judge robots by their movement before anything else. A beautiful face won't save a robot if the legs give out. But here's the part the internet didn't see. After the fall, Idol wasn't done. Engineers rushed backstage, adjusted the calibration, and restarted its systems. When the robot returned to the stage for a second attempt, it stood upright, lifted its arm, and waved without collapsing. Not perfect, but stable. Some attendees said the robot even moved smoothly backstage, picking up props and interacting with objects like a normal humanoid prototype should. But that footage never went viral. Only the fall did. This is the curse of public robotics demos. When it works, nobody notices. When it fails, it becomes a global punchline. But Russia wasn't the only country making headlines this week. While a idol was crashing on stage, China was showcasing something completely different. A humanoid robot so lifelike it made people question whether it was even a robot at all. The internet is losing its mind because Xpeng just unveiled a female humanoid robot so lifelike people are convinced there's a human inside it. This isn't your typical clunky metal bot. This thing walked onto stage like a runway model. Smooth steps, perfect posture, movements that looked disturbingly human. Meet Xpeng's new female humanoid, Iron, the robot that made even tech experts question what's real. Xpeng just rolled out a humanoid robot that walked onto stage like a fashion model. And suddenly, everyone on the internet was asking the exact same question. Is there a human inside that thing? I'm dead serious. The way this robot moved, the way it carried itself, people genuinely couldn't tell if they were watching cutting-edge robotics or the most elaborate magic trick in tech history. And honestly, after you see what I'm about to show you, you're going to understand why this thing sparked a full-blown identity crisis across social media. Because Xpeng didn't just build another clunky metal machine that waddles around like it's learning to walk. They built something that genuinely feels present, something that makes eye contact without triggering that uncanny valley horror show we're all used to with robots. This is the Iron Humanoid Robot, and it's about to change everything we thought we knew about human-robot interaction. So here's what went down. Xpeng, this Chinese EV powerhouse, unveiled their next-generation Iron Humanoid at their annual AI Day event. And when I say this robot walked out, I mean it walked. Not that stiff robotic shuffle you're picturing. We're talking hips rotating, shoulders moving in natural rhythm, feet crossing like it's strutting down a runway. The audience literally gasped because it didn't look like a machine entering the stage. It looked like a person. 5 foot 7, 154 pounds, designed with what Xpeng calls a skeleton muscle skin structure that mimics actual human anatomy. They gave it soft 3D lattice structures and soft sensory skin specifically to create those natural body curves you see in real humans. The spine moves like yours does. The hands have 22 degrees of freedom using these tiny harmonic joints. And get this, Xpeng made the robot customizable so it can present as male or female depending on what role it needs to fill. They went full Westworld with this design philosophy, crafting something that doesn't just perform tasks but actually feels like it has a personality, like it's present in the moment with you. But here's the crazy part. People were convinced there had to be a human inside that suit because no way could a robot move that naturally. The is this real or fake debate got so intense that Xpeng's CEO, He Xiaopeng, had to post an entire clarification video just to shut down the rumors. He's walking viewers through close-ups of the robot's hands, pointing out the microphones positioned near the ears, showing off the curved display on the head, even joking about the cooling system noise you'd hear if you stood right next to it, basically giving everyone a behind-the-scenes anatomy lesson to prove this is 100% robotic engineering, not Hollywood trickery. And honestly, the fact that the CEO felt compelled to do that tells you everything about how convincing this thing actually is. When your product is so lifelike that you have to defend its authenticity, you've either built something revolutionary or you've triggered mass hysteria. In Xpeng's case, maybe both. 
Do you think Xpeng's iron looks too human? Or is this exactly what humanoid robots should be like? Let's talk about the event itself, because this wasn't just some quiet press conference. Xpeng went full blockbuster production for AI Day 2025 in Guangzhou, theming the entire experience around emergence. They positioned this as their physical AI showcase, tying together everything they're building. Electric vehicles, robotaxis, humanoid robots, even flying car systems, all under one unified vision. The message they hammered home was simple but ambitious. One brain, many bodies. All their tech runs on the same underlying intelligence platform. The stagecraft was purely cinematic. Massive screen visuals, smooth live demonstrations, and CEO narration that kept circling back to practical everyday applications rather than distant sci-fi fantasies. Xpeng wanted everyone to see Iron not as a lab experiment, but as a real product heading toward real deployment in real environments where actual humans will interact with it daily. Tour guides, receptionists, shopping assistants, front of house greeters. They're targeting roles where human warmth and approachability matter, which is exactly why they obsessed over making Iron feel less like a factory robot and more like a host you'd genuinely want to talk to. If Xpeng's robot gave you chills, imagine what's coming next week. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Xpeng also known as the Chinese Tesla for years now, and it's not just a lazy comparison. Xpeng legitimately operates like a products plus platforms company in the same way Tesla does. They're building electric vehicles with Tesla-style full self-driving ambitions, pushing high-tempo software updates, and announcing public roadmaps that generate massive headlines. They're competing directly in Tesla's space, with robo-taxi plans, autonomous driving tech, and now humanoid robots. Sound familiar? Tesla's been talking about Optimus for how long now? Xpeng just walked their version onto stage and made it look like it belongs in a luxury hotel lobby right now. Media constantly frame Xpeng through this Tesla lens when explaining the company to global audiences, because the parallel is genuinely that strong. Both companies are betting that the future isn't just smarter cars, but entire ecosystems of intelligent machines that seamlessly integrate into human life. Xpeng partnered with Volkswagen for robo-taxi trials launching in 2026 with Level 4 Autonomy. They're updating flying car prototypes and driver assistance software. And now they've got Iron, a humanoid that looks ready to start greeting customers at Xpeng showrooms tomorrow. So what makes Iron different from every other humanoid robot announcement we've seen lately? It's the emotional realism. Xpeng didn't just nail the mechanical movement, they nailed the presence. That subtle head tilt when Iron looks at someone. The way it shifts weight naturally from one foot to the other. The smooth transitions between poses that don't scream, robot calculating next movement. When people in that Guangzhou auditorium watched Iron's catwalk-style entrance, they weren't analyzing joint articulation or servo motors. They were reacting to something that felt genuinely alive in the room with them. That's what triggered the human-in-suit panic. That's what made this announcement go viral across social platforms. Xpeng built something that crossed the uncanny valley successfully, the holy grail of humanoid robotics, and they're backing it up with real substance. Iron runs on three in-house Turing AI chips delivering 2,250T OPS of computing power. That's enough processing muscle to handle real-time tasks like factory assembly using vision language action models. It's powered by a solid-state battery that's 30% lighter, with 30% more capacity than traditional ones, making it safer and more practical for extended public interaction. This isn't vaporware. This is production-ready hardware, with mass manufacturing scheduled to start in April 2026. But here's the reality check. Xpeng's CEO was surprisingly candid about limitations. He straight up said they're holding off on household deployment for the long term because the AI needed for complex home environments is very difficult based on current technology. Translation, getting a robot to navigate your messy living room, understand your family's weird routines, and not accidentally destroy your stuff is way harder than teaching it to walk in a controlled showroom. So Xpeng's starting smart. Commercial deployment first. Robots introducing cars to customers at Xpeng stores tour guides at factories and exhibition spaces, shopping assistants in malls, environments where the tasks are predictable, the spaces are structured, and the interactions follow patterns you can program. They're even exploring pilots with heavy industry partners. So this isn't just about looking pretty at auto shows. Xpeng wants iron handling real work in real businesses while they continue developing the AI sophistication needed for more chaotic home settings. Be honest, if this robot greeted you in a showroom, would you talk to it or slowly back away? And that's the narrative Xpeng is really selling here. This isn't a one-off publicity stunt designed to grab headlines and disappear. They're positioning Iron as the beginning of a legitimate product category. Robots you can talk to in natural settings. Machines that don't feel like props but like co-hosts sharing space with you. Xpeng leaned hard into the lifelike walk and expressive presence at AI Day because they know that's what breaks through. Nobody cares about servo specs. People care about whether they'd feel comfortable asking this robot for directions or having it show them around a store. And based on the visceral audience reaction in Guangzhou, based on the social media firestorm, 
based on the CEO needing to prove it wasn't a person in a costume, Xpeng absolutely nailed that emotional connection. They built something that feels real, even when you know it's wires, processors, and algorithms underneath. So what happens next? Xpeng keeps insisting this is just the beginning. Mass production. Late 2026. Real-world pilots ramping up. Continuous AI improvements feeding back from commercial deployments. And if they pull this off, if iron actually becomes a familiar presence in malls, showrooms, and factories across China, and eventually worldwide, then we're witnessing the moment humanoid robots transition from science fiction concept to everyday reality. Because that's what Xpeng just demonstrated. Not that they can build a robot. Everyone can build a robot now. They proved they can build a robot that people actually want to interact with. A robot that doesn't trigger fear or discomfort. A robot that genuinely feels like it belongs in human spaces. And honestly, that might be the most mind-blowing breakthrough in robotics we've seen in years. This isn't about technology anymore. It's about acceptance. And Xpeng just made humanoid robots feel acceptable in a way nothing else has. Wild times, people. Absolutely wild times. Real question. Are we witnessing the moment robots officially cross the line between machine and human? Let us know in the comment below.